Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mocha and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So we're here with another wig therapy, another synthetic wig install. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this bomb sleigh on this synthetic wiggy, just keep on watching. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to go in and put on my brown stocking cap. I've been using this cap in almost all of my recent hair tutorials. I'm not going to do the ball cap because it's definitely not needed. This is the Catalina wig from the Ultra Melted Hairline Collection. I will definitely put the color in the description box. It's a 13 frontal with a 4 inch deep parting. I did go in and pluck this wig because I saw it on TikTok and I wanted to try it. So I did pluck it and I went in and used my foundation, of course, to match my skin complexion so it can be melted and just look like scalp. The hair, like, you know, the color I was feeling. I was trying to get used to this color. It was different. I love the body on it, definitely. The body... A lot of body. We're gonna use the hot comb, and the hot comb is really just to make the wig flat. But you get it, it's gonna be a little bit humpy. So to make it flat, you just wanna go in with the hot comb and just hot comb the top, the edges, so it can just get that realistic frontal look, okay? It's although it's synthetic, we don't want it to look wiggy synthetic. We want it to still look like you know it's human hair. I'm going to define my part, and the only thing I did to define my part was use my same foundation color and just put it in the part. I did go in and pluck it a little bit more because I was feeling the pluck hairline. I'm not even going to hold y'all. This hairline is definitely goals, and the body, this wig has so much body. I just, yeah, it was given. It was given what it was supposed to give when I was, you know, customizing it. Next, I'm just going to cut over my ears, all that extra lace or the hair that was over my ears to make sure the lace fits perfectly ear to ear. Thank you, Evan New York, for sending me these amazing products. I was sent their wig adhesive spray for normal and sensitive skin, as well as their skin protectant. I'll be using the adhesive spray extreme firm hold in the red can to install this wig. I'm gonna go in and cut my lace. I didn't have an eyebrow razor on hand, so I am using the scissors. When you're using the scissors, you do have to move the scissors up and down so you can cut the lace off in a jagged line. You do not want to cut across because it's gonna look very unrealistic. So just take your time, and as you can see, how I'm moving the scissors up and down, up and down to get that jagged line. I'm now going to apply the lace adhesive spray and you can do this two ways. The first way you can spray directly onto your skin. When I do spray it on my skin, I like to at least spray it three times so it can be really tacky. And then I'm gonna use the, my fingertips and just press that lace directly into the adhesive spray and just hold it down. Another way you can do this is spraying the adhesive spray directly onto the lace. I then apply my melt band while I do the finishing touches. You just want to add the melt band and let it sit on the hairline for a second so it can just give scalp. You want the wig to give scalp, so make sure to add your melt band. I must say, this is my first time ever doing a color like this. This color is yellow, but it's like, it's giving like Barbie blonde. And I'm going to go in and just use the comb and just brush out the hairs because remember I sprayed the lace adhesive on the hair. So you just want to loosen up the hairs a little bit 
and I'm just going to go in with my same foundation brush and just go in and just add a little bit to the edge of my hairline so it can melt in and I'm just doing the finishing touches on this wig. And here is the finished look of the total install and everything we did in this video. If you want to hear my input and how I feel about this wig, just keep on watching. The layers is bomb, like the body yaddy yaddy, okay? You can't go wrong with the body on this wig. So we are done with this install. I just want to give my final input on this wig. I did get a couple snags and it could be because I did pluck the hairline, but it is a little bit of snags in there. I absolutely love this blonde shade and I think it looks bomb because they did the dark roots. It was easy to pluck. I must say you have to be delicate if you do want to pluck it because um, the lace is very, very thin, but this is a really a melted hairline. Um, the texture is like a yakky feel, so it's kind of thick, which I do love my wigs to be thick. The length is about, I would say like 18, 20 inches. This blonde is definitely given, okay? For my chocolate girls, my woman of color, this is a great blonde wig for synthetic, okay? The color is just like shiny, it's bold, but it's not too loud because of the dark roots. And I absolutely love how they kind of layered the front. You get like a nice front face band, which I think is super, super cute. It's just bomb. So this is, I will definitely purchase it this week again. The color is definitely given. Okay, and look at the hairline. Yeah, definitely call the melted hairline. This is the Catalina. Yes, this is Catalina. And I'll put all the color and everything. The color, the wig, everything to this wig will be in my description box. If you guys enjoyed this wig therapy, synthetic wig install, so make sure to give me a like. Drop some comments to your girl and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next week therapy. Thank you so much for watching.